Pulse Secure Application Delivery Controller, also known as the VADC, is designed to make applications faster, reliable, and secure. It works within cloud environments and it's easily integrated into an application stack. It is the industry's first complete software defined ADC, freeing applications from constraints of traditional monolithic load balancers. While traditional ADC delivers scalability and reliability for enterprise and web applications within the data center, Pulse Secure VADC software goes further to deliver high performance and availability and accelerating applications. In a load balancing, client sends a request to traffic IP group and virtual servers then sends to pools the pulse then looks for available node and sends the request to any appropriate server base on load balancing algorithms. The pulse configuration is where the load balancing algorithm is configured. The first part of the configuration is to configure a service. Then a service traffic IP group is required. The traffic IP is typically where the IP address of the website is configured. Under the traffic IP group, an administrator must provision the virtual server, which is pro the protocol or port used to access the application. The process in line would be the configuration of the pools. A pools contains all the available application nodes. There are many options that can be configured within the virtual server and pool section of the configuration. In addition, the pool section can be configured to configure health monitors from basic ICMP monitoring to layer 7 application monitoring. To easily understand the segmentation of the configuration, the VADC is segmented into two sections, external side and internal side. In the HTTP load balancing diagram, we have configured port 80 HTTP from the external and port 80 from the internal configuration. There are a few enhancements features available in the HTTP protocol, such as HTTP compression, caching, traffic scripts, web accelerator options, authentication, and many more HTTP features that can be added. The next configuration is a typical SSL offload configuration. The SSL offload configuration will require an SSL certificate using a CA sign or a self-signed certificate. In this configuration, the virtual server configuration will require port 443, while the backend servers will require port 80. The other option is to configure your application to provide full HTTPS configuration, which will require certs from the external side traffic IP and internal side. Now let's log into our virtual traffic manager web interface. On the top section of the user interface, we have services, catalogs, diagnose, activity, systems, and web application firewalls. Now in the services, we have the traffic IP group, and this is where the traffic IP address is configured. In the virtual server, this is where the ports are configured. And in the pools is where the sets of application server nodes are configured, which will be load balance. In the pool section, we had two nodes. They are configured as port 80 HTTP. And these are the two application nodes that I have available that will be load balance. Let's check the load balancing configuration. We're going to be using round robin. We select round robin and we set update. The next thing we need to do is open a web browser and this is going to be accessing the traffic IP also known as tip. So as you can see Server 1, Server 2, Server 1, Server 2 is being 
connected automatically using the traffic IP.